We are now three days into Fortnite Season 4, and I'm sure all of us are no life in the season, as it's actually pretty good. Very, very surprised to see that. Uh, but we do have already got some pretty big findings in today's video, and we do hope you guys do, in fact, enjoy these. And if you guys do, per usual, make sure you guys definitely subscribe with the bell notifications on. Um, so hopping directly into things, it looks like the Boogie Bomb will be vaulted by next update. Get your last dance in. We'll be vaulting the boogie bombs and all playlists with our upcoming 22.10 game update, which we do speculate will probably take place in two weeks rather than next Tuesday, so stay tuned for that. We also have for you guys from Hypex all unreleased challenge categories for this season. Storyline challenges with voice lines, 32k XP per each, chrome hands, 30k XP each, four nightmares, 20k XP each, a vein ambush, 25k XP each, Bargain Bin 25k XP each, Star Wars 30k XP each, and last but not least, the World Cup for 26k XP each. In other news, NPC commands are now enabled once again. The NPC can now revive you if you're down along with these commands, back to me, dismiss, hold position, and move. I think the entire whole thing where you guys can get revived by your NPC is absolutely crazy. Such a great feature and something I did not even know uh, currently existed until now. So that is absolutely crazy. Uh, we also have for you guys from In The Shade YouTube, the first look at Sever BK's custom item shop, which by the way, it drops in about two days, his official skin release. And by tomorrow afternoon, I'm actually receiving it a day early. So stay tuned for tomorrow to see a full showcase before his item shop in two days. Uh, the Siren skin has been blacklisted in competitive playlists. Epic did this because of a bug that will be fixed later in the future. Which honestly, I don't really know what the glitch was, so let us know in the comments below if you guys actually know that. We also have for you guys, this is the reward for, the, for this month's PlayStation Cup. The Cup takes place from September 22nd to the 23rd, so it's actually a very mid uh, reward. Cannot even stand these sprays anymore because no one even uses them, so hopefully at some point they get rid of sprays altogether or mix a back bling where you guys can actually wear the sprays. Um, we also have three guys from, I believe myself and Top 5 Gaming. Hmm, so spotted by Top 5 Gaming. It appears for the first time in pretty much ever. A new season has not made the Google Trends page spike. Do people just not like this season already? This could also be because people are now back in school. So yeah, for the very first time, we have not seen a very large spike on the exact same day the season dropped. Now apparently, according to people on the Weekly Ghoul Trend page, uh, it actually did spike a little bit, but not as much as it usually did. And also, it dropped off nearly instantly the very next day. So to me, that kind of feels like people don't like these seasons, but according to Creekcraft, I actually agree with the statement. I imagine school plays a big part, but there's also no big feature this season that stands out. It's mostly just more of the same, except now there's Splatoon. And yeah, I must agree, there was no like huge, huge feature that dropped this season that was significant. Uh, but yeah, guys, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to. So here are some features that will be dropping that will definitely make this page go crazy. Hypex, so many people are speculating that next season could be Chapter 4, which is backed up by that Astria map leak, the storyline probably approaching its end, and the big similarities between the season and Chapter 2 Season 8. What do you guys think? And yes, yeah, so I covered this yesterday, so I'm not going to go fully in depth, but uh, yeah, this brand new Astria map is apparently taking place next season, aka in Chapter 4 already. And the chrome is spreading on the, around the map just like in Season 8, and to back this up, check this out. The chrome has already started to spread to Log Jam Junction. So definitely anticipate a lot of the map being completely filled with chrome by the end of the season, which is likely why we'll be getting a brand new map for Season 5. From Hypex, here's a big feature to expect throughout the season, which will definitely make that Google Trends page go absolutely bonkers. First person mode has been updated yesterday, but with not much info other than the fact that it'll hide your head from your screen when you switch to first person mode. So yeah, first person mode is definitely coming soon, which will expect a huge update on the Google Trends page. 
Also expecting this, uh, Ford had updated planes and helicopters for this season's chrome effect. This might be the first season ever to have both the helicopters and planes in it at the exact same time, which is also likely why they also updated this in the background video with a brand new feature. Flyable animals are coming soon. And also like the grappler item or like the new settler item will also be a part of this. So it's going to be a pretty big update uh, coming up very soon. It's also going to be a pretty big season that many people don't even think about. Uh, Ford had not only added back most of the guided missile stuff, but they also updated the sounds and idle slash reload animations and effects. Uh, so there's a high possibility for a return this or next season. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming soon, lots of OG items I should say, and a lot of people don't expect this season to be great just because the first day was not so good, but throughout the season they have so much stuff planned. And people also forget that next season is also the Christmas theme. Uh, the zombies from Four Nightmares October crew living screen looks like just like the same zombies from Chapter 2 Season 4, Halloween, and has almost the exact same face shape and hands. Thoughts on this mode possibly returning, which I don't think it's possibly returning, A 100% is definitely returning because it was so popular. Fortnite X FIFA World Cup ep Epic Edit World Cup BR challenges that grants 20k XP each for this season. No idea, no idea when they will release though. So at first people actually thought it was the real World Cup, but yeah, it's just for FIFA. Uh, recap on what Epic has updated this season that might be added soon. Charge Shotgun, Godded Missile Launcher, Luke Skywalker's Lightsabers, and Skin by the way, uh, Wolverine and Batman Mythics, Kingsman Mythic, Throwable Launch Pads, Sideways Content, and Caretakers. So yeah, lots of content coming soon, so definitely be hyped up. Um, I believe last but not least, remember that meta sound slash half AI generated sound from Season 3's downtime. Looks like Epic will implement it in game as a test in the near future for these items, which is a huge thing. Campfire, skydiving, NPC music, and gunfire. And I almost forgot about this, but last but not least, it looks like the Tonight Show is actually coming to Fortnite, so Jimmy Fallon. Wednesday night, Wednesday. something very exciting is going down. We're taking the Tonight Show into Fortnite. Ooh. That's right. We've teamed up with Samsung to do this. Uh, it's called Tonight at the Rock, powered by Samsung Galaxy. It's a gaming experience you can play in Fortnite. Uh, we recreated everything. Rockefeller Center, the 30 Rock building, our offices, every little detail of the studio. It's like you're right here. And the attention to detail is pretty mind-blowing. Uh, you can explore around. There's all these mini games you can play, games we play on The Tonight Show, and games that we made just for Fortnite with Samsung Galaxy Power Boost. It's really cool. Uh, we're very excited about that. So call all your friends around the world and start playing. Tune into the show Wednesday night, and thank you to Fortnite. And, and with that being said, my friends, that is all I have for you guys for today's video. As always, if you want to support the channel, make sure you guys use Cut Off Mars inside the end of shop, and of course, be subscribed with the bell notification on. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and thanks for watching.